If you like, please hit subscribe and tell all your friends about the Mad Rapper Show. Thank you guys for tuning in to the Mad Rapper Show. I'm your host, the Mad Rapper. And though you can hear the birds chirping, today is not a fucking good day. If you listen closely, you can hear I'm totally congested and wheezing. This is not only because I am overweight, but because there's a motherfucking fire that's blowing fucking smoke and ash all through the ecosystem in this bitch, and I can't fucking breathe. So the other day, I was sitting in this exact spot on my porch, and I was talking to my girlfriend, and I look into the sky, and I see what looked like at the time a mushroom cloud. It was big, and I was like, some shit is burning the fuck up. It was a sad day. It was a sad, sad, sad day. I haven't made a video because I was trying to decide whether I was going to sugarcoat the shit or whether I was going to be 100. And and I, I, I said, fuck it, you know, I'm going to be 100. I'll be the voice for those that lost their shit and, and want to be politically correct and not be crunk not get pissed, you know what I'm saying? They get on the news and, you know, cry. Cause it's fucking sad. This shit started roughly five miles from my house. I live on the outskirts of Guthrie, Oklahoma. On the outskirts of Logan County. If the wind had been blowing southeast, it would have burnt my shit up too. Luckily, the, the, the wind was blowing, I guess, to the north, so it took the flames away from my property, but, I mean, seeing the damage, it definitely would have been here and burnt my shit up too. They said it was a controlled burn. Now, I don't want to come at y'all like I'm a rocket scientist and shit. I don't want to act like I'm motherfucking the second coming of Einstein in this bitch. But a controlled burn is when you choose to burn up some shit. And you say, I got control of this burn. See, in the country, we burn trash. We have fucking barbecues and shit. And if, if I want to clear off some land, I'm going to fucking burn that bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do in the country. That's country life. If you're a farmer and you trying to do your crops, farmers have to burn shit. But don't be a bumblefuck ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I'm saying it. I don't care. I'm saying it. Don't be a bumblefuck ass nigga and, and decide, regardless of the wind, regardless of how dry it is, that you're gonna just go outside and burn up some shit. It don't make sense. It don't make sense for a grown ass motherfucker to burn up nearly four or five thousand acres of shit. It don't make sense. It's horrible. And I mean, I'm, I'll be that nigga. Like, uh, uh, you local people that are watching this, you can catch feelings, you can be mad at me if you want. I'm just saying, look, I live out in this bitch. No, my shit didn't get burnt up. But fuck that shit. For the chance of some hillbilly ass motherfucker to come out here and light some matches and start burning up some shit and not use his brain, and burn up everybody's shit, it just pisses me off. It's like, what the fuck, man? And it, it's, it's something that we can't stop. You know, it's something that once it gets started, it's hard to fucking stop, especially when you got 20 mile an hour winds and shit. <sighs> to show respect to the people that have lost everything, I chose not to take my shit to the streets I mean, I, I know you guys think I'm ruthless, you know, and I'll do anything for a hit, but fuck that shit, man. I, 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 I was thinking about going and acting like I was on the news and, and going right amongst the people, like I was media, because I could do that, because this is my fucking home, too. But I, I decided to show respect, and um, because it's sad, man. And, and, my channel is about comedy and having fun, and I didn't want to be fucking out there with the emotions, because I feel it. 
It sucks, man. I, I drove past where it started, and it was just horrible to me to see people's homes that I had seen for years damaged because of this. You know, these people have nothing to do with this shit. And all of a sudden, something got out of control. A controlled fire got out of control. You know, it just, it just sucks. So, at a young age, I was taught by my father what you do to burn shit in the country. First off, you cannot burn things when the wind is high. Because what that does is the stuff you burn will get caught up in the wind and taken to some other place where it will start burning again. And that's why this fire has been going for so long. Because it's burning trees and parts of these trees and parts of these grass is on fire just blowing in the wind, starting fires in the places. So it is horrible. Um, I'm trying to make sure I watch the news as much as possible so that if it does flip around and come this way, I can be ready. We need prayers, you know, for these people that lost their stuff, man. Nobody deserves that. Gee, can you, do you see me record, man? I don't understand. A dog's like oblivious to shit. Like, what? Nick, come on, man. Are you serious? Like, you want food and shit, and you understand when you get food, and you understand that kind of shit, but you don't see this machine and know not to fucking interrupt my shit. This is a time that everybody needs to come together and help each other. And if you if you can donate, donate to the Red Cross. Uh, if you if you y'all can help anybody, help. It's horrible that uh, there's nothing we can do. If 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 the fire comes, all I can do is pack my shit up and let and let the house that I was. Uh, grew up in just burned to the fucking ground.